In America, it has become easier than ever to ignore the pains and problems of reality. Modern technology gives us plenty of ways to escape the difficulties of life. From television to online media like video games and even virtual reality itself, we have found so many ways in this culture to distract ourselves with coping from our true problems. But when's the last time you waited in line without looking at your phone to distract you from your boredom? In the same country where we have come Come up with so many ways to ignore our problems, we have also come up with the doctrine of the rapture. Imagine you are a person with a crippling neurological disease, or a person working 80 hours a week to pay off credit card debt, or a student pulling multiple all-nighters in order to get through college. Now I want you to close your eyes and put yourself in the shoes of such a person, and just feel how relieving it would be to believe that very soon Jesus will return and heal your diseases, cancel your debts, take away your stresses, and deliver you to ultimate paradise. Believing that the rapture is just about to occur is like believing that the lottery is about to happen, only better. Because the lottery only gives you money, but the rapture gives you ultimate peace, satisfaction, and joy in Christ. For many, the idea of God just coming down and swooping us away from here is so powerfully comforting. We rightfully know that the world is not as it should be, and the rapture seems like the perfect way out from this place of brokenness and responsibility. But the problem is when this doctrine becomes a type of escapism. This doctrine may then distract us from the calling that God has placed upon our lives. Why should I go to college or pay my debts off if we are just going to be raptured away at any moment? If Jesus is just about to return any second now, then why should we work on getting married or bettering the world or creating long-lasting institutions that will spread the gospel long after we die? All of the things that require hard work, sacrifice, discipline, and long-term planning can basically be ignored. And because of this, so many people have lost everything because they placed their hopes and dreams in Jesus returning soon. Last June, my YouTube feed was filled with videos of people claiming that 2021 was the year of the rapture. I'm not going to show any of the videos here because I don't want to beat up on people who have already been significantly hurt by these false prophecies. As I began to watch more of these videos, I became more and more sad for the individuals behind them. They generally seemed to be unstable in their personal lives and had a growing pessimistic outlook towards the world. Everything was going down, everything was terrible, everything was wrong. They couldn't see the glory, they couldn't see the goodness that God is accomplishing in the world. All they saw was negativity. And because of this, this negativity turned into even paranoia for many of them. Now paranoia is a subjective term and I am not a psychologist so feel free to take that with a grain of salt, but the fact remains that all of these individuals were longing for an escape from this world. After lockdowns and vaccine mandates and travel restrictions and political tensions increasing, who wouldn't want to escape from it all? And who would want to go through the tribulation period at all? If we could escape, I'm pretty sure all of us would choose to take the easy way out. But when did God ever make things that easy? Pretty much never. So is the rapture Christian escapism? Maybe. It actually turns out that we don't exactly have a blanket answer here, because Christians believe in a pre-trib rapture for a variety of different reasons. For some, they do so because that's what they've always been taught, or that's what their favorite preacher says. Others believe in a pre-trib rapture because they are fully convinced that that is what the scripture says. Yet many simply believe in the rapture because they want to escape. So the real question is, is the rapture Christian escapism for you? Do you believe in the rapture out of fear or out of a sense of wanting to get away? Or do you believe in the rapture because you are convinced that that is what scripture says? You see, God didn't command us to escape the world. He commanded us to transform it. Being ready for his coming is not about reading the newspaper, keeping up with the Middle East, checking your earthquake app, or monitoring every little new thing to see if it's the mark of the beast. That is not what being ready for his return is all about. Being ready is about actively orienting our lives so that if Jesus returned right now, he would find us actively spreading new creation. So whether or not you believe the rapture is going to take us all away from here, the more important question is this. If Jesus Christ returned tomorrow, would he find that your life is in honor of him?